Hey guys, this is Wolfles, gonna give you a commentary on Hotel Domination. I uh, hope you guys, if you have Xbox 360, have purchased this map pack, because unlike First Strike, it is awesome. I really am enjoying it. Um, instead of going with my class to pick up my Galil, and I will talk about my class and perks actually within the next, um, you know, first half of the commentary. But if you haven't purchased this, my, you know, my opinion is go buy it right away. Uh, basically, even for just this map, and for just the zombies. I mean, every single map uh, that I've played so far, I've had a lot of fun on. They've been really balanced. You know, they're, they're sniper predominant. They're, um, you know, rush predominant. It's it's really been it's really been a lot of fun uh, playing on them. I had a lot of technical issues with my internet today, and I called my provider, and it should be fixed over the next 24 hours. So I've been having difficulty posting on YouTube and and getting the DLC and freaking uh, all this crazy shit. Uh, but in the end, I was able to pick this guy and pick this up. Uh, so before it pops up on the on the left of your screen, and before I get killed by these uh, these campers making a little fire over here, uh, they were actually just coming down the elevator. I wanted to test something about the elevator, so check it out. Uh, basically, this is the El Royale Hotel, which is the nice big blue one that makes all the money. The other one doesn't, and uh, or it's a casino, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, hit up the uh, the button, then you run upstairs, and by the time they hear the, the ding and they look in the elevator, you can kill them from behind. So I'll show you guys how to do that on the other. That's a, that's the easier one and uh, not as efficient the other hotel or whatever they are the other building is actually better for it but i will show that later on in the commentary uh so because i was really curious about that because i thought that'd be really cool you know especially like search and destroy or something you call that hotel right so they rush they aiming down and you, you pop up from the side with your marathon uh with your marathon class and shoot them in the back of the head so that could be a lot of fun um the thing i love about this map is in particular because that's what that's what the gameplay is is uh, getting stuck with people on your team who are really good at singing. Uh, in the next 10 seconds, uh, the next 10 seconds, yep, you uh, you guys are going to witness probably the best singing I have ever heard. And uh, after that, I will continue talking about my perks and the thing I like about this uh, this map the most. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the singing. Hello, friends. Can you see? I really love Wow, I got those. Wow. <laughs> now that he's muted, uh, I want to tell you guys a little story before I get back into the commentary. After playing this game, I played a demolition. Look at the enemy team's uh, freaking connection. All four bars, all basically high prestige. They got rolled. I know my score isn't that good, but at the same time, 2 0 victory in demolition on a map I never played before with my team. We were pretty impressed. Okay, uh, enough, of, enough of all those distractions and, and, you know, I just want to put together a quick video for you guys, but like I said, I've been having a lot of trouble uh, posting it and, and uh, you know, getting all this stuff, so I've been kind of rushed, so, you know, first time commentary and all that stuff, so I, I apologize for the, the, it seems a bit put together. The um, thing I love about this class is the mobility you get in your side rifle, like I said, I'm using Lightweight Pro, uh, Sleight of Hand Pro, Marathon Pro um, on this on this amazing map, is the divi divi diversity of this map um, is, is great, especially when you're using this uh, this class, because it gives you the mobility lightweight pro for those close quarter uh, strafing. It gives you the marathon pro to get from one side to the other, and the sleight of hand pro is obviously uh, I like to be in the enemy team spawn, and having fast reload is underrated. If you don't want the fast reload, sleight of hand, uh, steady aim pro is pretty good to pick up because you get the fast ads after sprinting. So when you have marathon pro, it's always good to have. I always struggle between sleight of hand pro and uh, steady aim pro when using like a shotgun class. Anyway, so this map is uh, is awesome, and I want to talk a bit about its layout. Basically, you know, the A flag and the C flag are pretty secluded, and it's kind of hard to cap them. And when playing domination, that's kind of I mean, it shouldn't really be a, shouldn't really be a big issue. Um, but if let's say you want a triple cap or something, or if you want to hold down a triple cap in one of these maps, it's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, there are a lot of spots for your tactical insertion. As you can see, I'm using one right now. This is the first time I'm using this map, and I I you know. I get some pretty good spots, and I, I figure out some pretty good places to use it. But uh, I get out, I get out, uh, out shot by an AK-74. You here? Um, I think they did they patch it. Anyways, um, yeah. So um, domination, capture, capping those flags are, are pretty difficult. So we're gonna jump real quick, and uh, I'll show you guys the other, the other elevator thing. This this is the the hotel, I guess, the uglier building. Uh, just hit that run into the middle area, up the uh, the staircase, the two flights of stairs, and you'll actually be able to see the door open on your elevator. So this is better uh, than the other the other building, but you can actually walk the elevator open if you have Lightweight Pro Marathon Pro on. So I think I've really, I can't wait to do this to uh, Ground War, you know, they have like four or five campers up there, 
they hear the ding, they turn around, and bam, you're not even in the elevator. They will be so shocked. And I wanted to share that little secret with you guys. All right, so uh, after doing a little bounce off the ground kill defense, uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about uh, domination on this map. So like I said, as you can see there, it's really easy to defend flags. Uh, but at the same time, it's really hard to cap flags. I would definitely recommend a tactical insertion in this class, uh, in this map, and especially in new maps, because there seems to be a lot of corners. And uh, very easily spending, you know, five minutes on this map, I found a lot of a lot of really good spots um, to put the tactical insertion. Uh, so finally, I think I'm going to go on my tear pretty soon, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, I really enjoy the detail uh, on this map. It, you know, it's it's been it's been definitely enjoyable uh, to play. And uh, like I said before earlier in the commentary, this is basically the only big map I would ever want to play Search and Destroy or Team Deathmatch in. It's, um, let's see, eh, quick note, I'm, I'm 17 and 9 right now, and I finished 40 and 10. So, I'm sure you guys can assume to, to what's happening right now. So, I'm able to pick up a nice nade over here over these two lo lovely couples, and I pick up a triple claim war over here. Uh, coming up these stairs, this is a great part of the map. I'm going to stick to the left side over here, picking up a quick kill, and I notice that's a really good predominant spot for their spawn. And I can see on my on my UAV while using my uh, the UAV there on my mini map, I'm able to pick up a triple kill over here uh, as they come out of the spawn. And like I said, it's a really great area, and it seems to be kind of a, a, a point where the enemy team will spawn. You can see another guy coming over there. So when I'm playing on this map, stick over here uh, by these gold coins, and you'll be able to pick up a lot of kills. As you can see, I was able to pick up my SR-71 really quick there, and picking up the double kill. This side over here on the map is really, really awesome. Uh, I've, I've already kind of picked this as my favorite spot. There is some good spots on the other side of the map, but this is great. It gives you quick access to the bank area, which is a nice, quick uh, spot to the A. So if they go capping, if they start capping C, this is, I think, the shortest route to get to A. The other side seems a bit longer and farther from A. Um, not only that, but this right side provides a lot of cover. It's a lot like high rise, and if you have good aim, which apparently I, I don't demonstrate here, but I usually have decent aim. Maybe not with the sounds, Galil. Um, it's a great spot for you. So if you like high rise, and if you're a sniper, and if you like that kind of distance, then, then that's that's the side for you. Uh, coming over here into the a, to their A spawn, I'm able to kind of be sneaky over here using the casino as great cover. The thing about these new maps is uh, cover has been you know very very well implemented, and you can really utilize it to kind of stay in their spawn, and they will have no idea. I cannot wait to play this map in Ground War. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and I can basically manipulate uh, manipulate the entire enemy team and uh, and basically stay in their spawn without being killed. Getting killed there uh, by 15th pursuit with a silence kill, I'm not surprised. A very powerful gun. And uh, that's okay. I, I think I did. That was my one only death. Uh, using the uh, teabag over here, the teabag technique on the elevator. <laughs> Style points. And, um, I mean, this spot. This spot's a pretty good spot. I mean, camping over here, um, as, as the game kind of finishes over here, uh, you know, picking up, you know, the elevator, controlling the elevators, I think that's going to be used a lot, unlike the zip lines, is, is always a good thing. And then having, you know, this spot looking over B flag is, is great, but very dangerous. It's going to be definitely a for us to be shooting me there. So uh, that's the gameplay right there, guys. 40 and 10, I want a pretty good tear at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I, will, uh, I will be making a lot more of these, some more deep episodes, some advanced player guides, some normal commentaries, and some pretty important videos coming out over the next week with creative content and um, gameplays for other channels. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I don't really want to mention this in my video, but uh, at the same time, I like communicating. That's the only reason why I would do this. But follow me on Twitter, guys. It's on my YouTube home, my YouTube homepage. Maybe I'll put a link in the description, whatever. It would be greatly appreciated just so I can communicate with you guys and you can hear you know, when I'm uploading, when I'm not uploading, when I have technical issues, so on and so forth. All right, guys, this has been uh, the new map pack, and hope you guys enjoyed.